Hey guys, it's the Junior Coder. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use buzzers with Scratch on the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's get right into it. Before we get started, if you haven't checked out my last video, make sure to check that out. We made a traffic light program using Scratch on the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's move on. So the first thing we're going to do is go over the parts used in this tutorial. So first, you need a breadboard. Next, you need two female to male jumper wires. And you also need a buzzer. So now that we're done going over the parts used, let's get into how to build this project. So first, let's connect some female to male jumper wires, the Raspberry Pi. So we'll get the ground female to male jumper wire. We'll connect that to the ground pin. There's a third on the bottom if you didn't know. Then we'll connect any other female to male jumper wire, second on the top. That is GPIO2. So now we can use these to plug in the breadboard. So this is how the buzzer looks like. As you can see, there is no longer or shorter side. So the only way to tell the difference between positive and negative sides is by this little icon right here. So this is the positive icon. That means this one right here, the right leg is positive. So we'll plug that in. So just remember, I plugged in the positive side to row 25. So now we'll connect the positive side that we connected to the Raspberry Pi to row 25. And we'll connect ground three pins over. So there should be two pins between the black and the red wires. So this is what the breadboard should look like. And this is what the Raspberry Pi should look like. So now we're done with the hardware. So we can use the circuit we built and turn on and off the buzzer using Scratch. So let's do that now. So now we're on the Raspberry Pi desktop. We'll go over to the top left corner and open Scratch 3. So as we did in the last video, we'll go to the bottom left corner and click on add extension. And this time instead of adding Raspberry Pi Simple Electronics, we'll add Raspberry Pi GPIO. This is the more advanced version of the last one. So first we'll go to events, grab the one green flag click block. Then we'll make a forever loop. And inside that loop, we'll go to the new palette. Then we'll grab this one right here that says set GPIO, the pin number, to output high or low. So we'll change this to 2. And we'll keep this in high. Then we'll grab a weight block. We'll keep it in 1 seconds. Then we'll grab the same one in the new palette, change it to 2, and instead of high, we'll do low. And we'll grab another weight block. So now when we run our program, you can see that it does this kind of sound effect. So first it turns on, then it waits for one second, and it turns off, and it keeps on doing that forever. So that'll be it for this video. If you learned something, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.